welcome back from recess. Have a seat on the carpet. Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to talk about things that take up space. Things that take up space. I want you to take a look in these three jars that I have in front of you. I've got different things in each jar. Take a look and tell me what you see. Okay, in this first jar we've got a Right, a rock. Very good. Okay, you think it's Kool-Aid? Some sort of drink? How about this third jar? What's in here? Nothing? Are you sure? Hmm, I wonder if I can change your mind. I'm going to take what's in here and I'm going to move it into here. Watch. Did you change your mind? What is in it? That's right, air. Air, like what we breathe. Yes. Okay, word I'm going to teach you today describes things that take up space. And the word is matter. Everybody say matter. Yes, something that takes up space. So today we're going to learn that matter exists in three different states three different states. We're also going to learn about the differences between the three states. Let's look at this first jar, the rock. What can you, how can you describe the rock to me? Yes, it's hard. It could break things. Well, what if I took the rock and I tried to squeeze it? Could I change its shape? <laughs> yes, Isaiah. If I was a wrestler and I was really strong and I squeeze the rock so hard. I might break it in a million pieces. But breaking something's a little different than changing the shape here. So for our lesson, squeezing like this, I can't change the shape. So it's what we call a solid. Can everybody say solid? Solid. Have you heard the expression solid as a rock? That's where that comes from. Okay, let's take a look at our juice or Kool-Aid or whatever it is. How would you describe it? Yes, it's blue. You could drink it, maybe. Think about its shape. How is it different from the rock? Okay, it's kind of wobbly. Take a look at this. I've got it in this container. What happens when I do this? Does it look a little different? Yeah. So we can say that it takes the shape of the container it's in. Also, I want you to think about how does the water move? Does it move the same way as a rock? Yeah, you can pour it. A word that we use to describe how it moves, we say it flows. It moves smoothly. And the word for this is liquid. Liquid it is anything like a water that can move that way and take the shape of its container. Okay. And our air, how would you describe our air? Okay, you can't see it. Doesn't weigh very much. How about its shape? What kind of shape does it have? Doesn't really have a shape. Is it like a liquid though? So it's in here, or it could be out in the room, so it takes the shape of whatever it's in. Good. The word we use to describe that is gas. Gas. Excellent. Now you know the three states of matter. You've got solid, liquid, gas. We're going to play a game now, so I need you to listen up as I explain the directions. Okay, your first step, when I say alligator, you're going to go back to your desk and find the object on it that I put there. No trade, you keep the object I gave you. Second, you're going to decide is your object a solid, a liquid, or a gas? It might be a little tricky because you might find that it's a combination. It could be a solid and a liquid. I'm going to come around and check in with a few of you, but if you're not sure, you're welcome to ask your neighbor. Just talk in an inside voice. The third step, I'm going to say alligator again, and when you hear me say alligator, you're going to freeze for the next instructions. Okay, I want to make sure you understand, so 
on the carpet, I want you to turn to your neighbor and tell them what's the first thing you're going to do. Okay, good. What's the second thing you're going to do? Okay, and the third thing. Okay, any questions? You ready? Alligator. Isaiah, what have you got? Okay, you've got a bag full of dry beans. Good. What are you thinking? Okay, you figured out part of it is solid. The beans, you're sure, are solid. Hmm, but you're not sure about the bag. Tell me what you're thinking about the bag. Do you have a question? Okay, you're thinking it could be like a liquid because it can fit inside a container. I really like that you're using the information I just gave you to figure this out. Okay, why don't you think what else you know about liquid and ask yourself if the bag can do that. Okay, good job. Okay, alligator. Very good. If you think you have just a solid or a liquid or a gas, bring your item up. Hey, if you think you have something that's a combination of these states of matter, bring it up. All right. Who had the air freshener? Jorge. You decided the air freshener is both a gas and a solid. Tell me how you figured out there's it has gas. Okay, so you push the button and you can hear something escape. And the room smells nice. Okay, and the solid, what's solid about it? Okay, the can keeps its shape, it's hard. Very good. Jorge, did you shake the container? What happens when you shake it? Yeah, something's kind of splashing around. Do you want to change your answer? Okay, so you think it's a gas, a liquid, and a solid. It has all three. Excellent. Boys and girls, I'm so impressed with all the good thinking you did today. Let's go back over the definitions of each of the states of matter. What can we say about a solid? Okay, solid keeps its shape. Excellent. How about a liquid? What do we know about liquid? Okay, takes the shape of the container. And remember, Isaiah, you were trying to figure out about that plastic bag? What else do we know about liquid? Right, it flows or it moves smoothly. Excellent. And the last state of matter, gas. What do we know about gas? Yeah, it takes the shape of its container. Okay, hard to see, very good. And what about compared to the rock? Yes, it doesn't weigh very much. All right, boys and girls, I have one last challenge for you. I want you to think about your body. It's a combination of states of matter, isn't it? We've got solid, liquid, and gas in us. Can someone give me an example of a solid? Yes, Emma. Our bones, good. Bones keep their shape. They're what, they're what give us our shape, yes. Okay, how about a liquid? Jorge. Yes, we have blood inside us. You know, our heart pumps blood and it flows through our body. Very good. How many of you have ever burped? Okay, most of you have burped, yes. Burping is an example of gas escaping out of our body through our mouth. Okay, so this is the challenge question I want you to think about as we line up for PE. Now, I'm not going to give you the answer today. We'll figure it out tomorrow. I want you to decide is your body mostly made up of solid? Is it mostly made up of gas? Or is it mostly made up of liquid? Hmm, that's an interesting question. All right, if you think that your body is mostly made up of gas, line up for PE. Yeah, a couple of you think that way. If you think you are mostly made up of liquid, 
line up. Okay, a lot more of you think you're made up of liquid. All right, so those of you who are still sitting think you're mostly solid, don't you? Go ahead and line up, and we'll find out the answer tomorrow.